In this video, we're going to take a look at how to transfer files using FTP Voyager. Let's begin by establishing a new connection to our remote server. Here I'm going to select the My Website connection and select the Connect button. Once my connection is established, I can see all the files and folders that are currently available on my remote server. An easy way to transfer files to your remote server is to simply open up the files on your local machine and drag and drop the desired files directly into the FTP Voyager panel. Another way to transfer files is to navigate from within FTP Voyager using their Explorer panel locate the folder that contains your files and folders and drag and drop from one panel to the other. If you're looking to maintain your remote server and your local files synchronized you can use the sync button to analyze the folders that are available on both the remote side as well as the local side and the software will automatically analyze the folders available on each end and tell you which files need to be transferred from one place to the other. On this side, it's telling me that there is an images folder on the, on the local folder that should be available on the remote. On the bottom, it tells me that there's a CGI-bin folder that is available on the remote server but is not available on the local. So here I'm going to synchronize this side first. And then I'm going to synchronize the other end. At this time, both of my local as well as remote folders are completely synchronized. Congratulations, you now know how to transfer files using FTP Voyager.